Hello everybody, welcome back to this little uh, walkthrough of the new features that we added in 2019.1 version of Jevero, uh, the software for pattern engineering. So in this version we have added some few uh, design options that were, uh, were requested and uh, we'll take a look at them right now. We First, we have added a command to change the chain or boundary mirror axis. So what this means is, we have a boundary. I'll create a boundary on this line. And then I will unfold it. So I will cascade the boundary tool. Click on unfold selected boundary. Click on the boundary. Click on the axis and I will unfold it so it will automatically mirror here and we'll create a mirror based on this straight line you can mirror on curves but it will be uh, difficult for the program it will tell you it should be a line because of course um, it's better if it's a line let's say now I had these two lines prepared I have this blue line which is my mirror but let's say I want to change it to the red line here. So what I can do now is cascade here and say change mirror axis. So I will click on this. It will ask me to select the change in boundary to change the axis. So I will select my boundary, press enter, then select the mirror line and select the new mirror line. So this will move all the lines you see here. It has a new mirror, a new boundary. It moved everything. This is especially useful in situations when you have multiple boundaries that you want to move like this and not just one, but this is the function. This is how it should be mm, used. A new tool that we have implemented is the filtering curve tool. So we have it here. We know the rebuild. If you click on a line, click on rebuild, we can specify the number of points that we want on the line. And it will try its best to rebuild the curve with the number of points that you have decided. So I want a 7. Of course, it's not enough. Let's say 15. And it will make it a little smoother. What we have worked on is a tool that works the other way around. So you do not give the number of points, but you give a specific tolerance and it will tell you the number of points that will be generated. So I have this line specifically. You'll see why it has an angle. This is a, a 90 degree angle, more or less. It's not perfect. Uh, if you right click on the same button of uh, curve rebuilding, we'll select the line and then have some options here. So, tolerance. If I say one, for example, the maximum space here between the new line and the old one will be one. So, if I say more, like 10, it will have of course less points it will tell you five points and a maximum of 7.8 tolerance so you know that this line here is 7.8 millimeters but it will tell you the number of points that it has generated and you can specify the tolerance so you see here that I had a corner and the angle remained right there so let's say two Okay. Uh, this is the cutoff angle. So if I say 91, this will smooth out the angles after a certain degree. So now mm, I put 91 just to be more clear. Uh, if you put 88, so less, you see that it will keep all the angles over 88 degrees and it will smooth out anything else. I'll do it again, 91. It will make 
a curve, but with less than 90 holes specified, it will be um, it will be cut off. So we are back here. Another uh, quick thing: if you have auto parts, here I have boundary auto part, and here I have baselines auto part. If you double click, it will isolate the auto part and keep them right there. So that is one more feature, one more visualization option. Um, we can now show or hide master while picking objects. What this means is, if I want to isolate these two lines and I click on this button here, it will show me just these two lines and then I can show them back together. If I go over the options and toggle this zoom to part extent while hiding my master, say OK. When I select my line and click on this, it will put uh, what you have selected in the center of the viewport. And then you can always show it back. So I will try with this. Same thing. You can also, we have also a button to toggle the generating lines of a part. So I'll create a part. I have this here. Select the boundary and say OK. Now I have my part. Here I only see the boundary because the boundary is the only thing that is inside my part. But if I, sh uh, if I tick this option, I will see every line that is involved in the creation of this part. So you'll see this all oh, these three lines, the mirror, uh, the, was the mirror uh, before, and you can edit, and the boundary of course will be edited. You can untoggle and see um, just what's inside the part, and you see that um, yeah, we d we can do all the things, but also with this new two visualization options. Okay. Next part. In this next part, we're gonna see how we will we have added a new feature on the convert to baseline uh, option. So, if we click on this margin, I have created a line with a margin. And I want to convert this margin. I don't want it to be dependent anymore. And I want to edit it singularly. I will select it. Say convert to baseline. You see that it will ask if you want to rebuild or not the curves. So if we say no. We see that this will be uh, very crowded. And with a lot of points compared to this which has I don't know, seven points. But, so now I'll control Z and go back to my margin. Now it's margin. Convert it to baseline and say yes. Now this will be, um, of course, filtered. Uh, you have a requested tolerance. You can say 0 0.2. Mm, you can say max point count. I want eight. So now it will be 8 and say 0.1. So this is the best result that it can do with the number of points given. You can say to delete out the input so that you can have two curves or not. So if I, you say yes and enter, you will just have the new curve. If you say no, you will have two curves. The one uh, that has been uh, the, the margin and the the rebuilt image, the, the rebuilt line. Okay, that is all for mm, the design part. In the next video, we'll take a look at the grading infrastructure um, improvements that we got.